Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Got some work to do. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you with an Earth 2 update video. Uh, shout out to everyone that has used my referral code, subscribed to my Patreon. You guys are the best. That really helps out the channel. Commenting, liking, and subscribing does as well, since I think like half of you that watched are not subscribed, so please do that. Um, also, shout out to Guidebook Gaming yesterday for uh, mentioning me on their Twitch stream last night. I was tired, but we persevered. Uh, they they do offer quali quality content. They go deep dive into whatever they're talking about every day. So even if you don't win the free giveaways that they do of the land that they give out, it's still a really good learning experience, and you have a lot of fun there. Uh, a question I received yesterday is if I knew when their official launch was. The short answer is no. Uh, we don't know when Phase 2 is. We know it will be before the end of Q2 2021. So before the end of June, but in a more precise um, view where we can not have as broad a spectrum, most likely we will get resources spawning on our tiles before the end of Q1, which means before the end of March. Uh, phase 3 will probably be late next year, but even so, it will probably be broken up over a few rollouts. Like the start of Phase 3 might not be until the end of 2021 and roll over into 2022. Uh, it just If the software isn't there, we might not see a full game until 2022. It could probably be played on the new Oculus Quest 2, but really no one knows how much power it'll need, what type of... They're going to have over-the-air software updates, which should be relatively easy to do. If they can't do it with the new Oracle Quest, there's definitely a couple companies. Uh, the Shell Company, I would say a Facebook, and then even Oracle. Um, Microsoft, Apple, you know, a bunch of the few places. SAP. So SAP is really one of the biggest. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Microsoft is one of the biggest. Apple's one of the biggest, just because it's on their computers. So it might be for Windows and Apple. And then you have SAP and then Oracle. Or SAP and Oracle are probably the two biggest ones outside of the computer ones, um, just for software. Uh, Bronto type. Oh, I'm sorry, Bronto Byte Labs has moved up into the top 25. He's currently 23rd as of the making of this script, so good on you. And my friend Aria Realty also, uh, who is also in the top 20, I believe, still. Uh, remember the guy who spent 43000 uh in-game? He does not have as many tiles as someone who spent 7500 six weeks ago. So you could make the argument that, oh, well, you know, you might have spent more than me, but I have more tiles than you. Really, we don't know. It depends where. The developers have said that there will be multiple reasons to have land. So that's just kind of piggybacking off the idea of really doesn't matter how much you spent at this point. It really matters how many tiles you have. So there could be advantages to just buying cheap land wherever, even if it's in the middle of nowhere. Because the developers said there's actually too many pros to having land to list. And so that just motivates me to buy more. My strategy is to buy as much cheap land as I can. Location doesn't matter to me anymore. Uh, you know, farmland, grassland, even parking lots, just because we can terraform the land as well. So ocean tiles, same thing. In World of Warcraft, you can buy beer. In the Sim games, you can take a hit off the blunt. Even in World of Warcraft, the screen becomes blurry. So it's very similar to Entropia. You might have to pay for every item in the game. Guidebook Gaming yesterday said that he believes in farmland because of this reason. Food is going to be a necessary a necessary thing for us to maybe feed our avatars to live. It might be similar to Neopets when you know how they they couldn't die But they would just get very very hungry. I know I keep dropping these old-school bombs showing my age But that's what we used to play back in the day uh, You're going to need rice flour even cotton for clothes Remember when I said yesterday that people will pay good money to outfit their dogs with cool clothing You have no idea how extra people can be <laughs> People will have pissing matches and have an offensive show of wealth and i am here for all of it it's seen in the collectibles market rich people and celebrities outbidding each other sometimes because they want the item but also other times because they just don't want the other person to have it nick cage nicholas cage he is uh pretty infamously known for doing that with comic books i have a couple friends in the collectibles market where they have these private auction houses and in those private auction houses they don't just have pokemon cards they have baseball cards they have other things Nicholas Cage is actually a big collector of comic books. It's really funny. Uh, if you guys add me on Facebook, just send a message along with that as well, saying that you sent a friend request, because no mutual friends, I have no idea who you are. Um, I might make a fan page as well, for those of you out there. Eventually, if I do reach that 5K uh, Facebook friend limit, uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to focus on a Facebook fan page or focus on building Instagram. Also, aside from me, where else do you guys get your other information? Aria Realty on YouTube is definitely an excellent source. Guidebook Gaming on Twitch is great. 
Um, Ario Realty, though, he's the one that has video evidence of people withdrawing their funds. So by all means, go check him out. I did mention banking yesterday. And although I think there will be farms, uh, but I think there will be banks as well. Farms are something you might have to work, like actively like go in there and work. But, um, but banks, I think, can be set up so that if you need money, like if I have Chavez Bank or the Bank of Chavez, you can just put your information in. There could be a thing in the script or in the code that says they'll give you a loan based on how many tiles you have or how many resources you want, depending on how much credits I have in there. Um, if the game doesn't do it, like if they, if they don't do that for you, I will do that for you. I will fill that hole. I will have a system that will loan out credits for a fee. I don't want any complicated compounding or accruing interest. I want to keep it simple. You just borrow X, you pay back Y, that's it. It could be scripted into the game. It could be just done with resources or, or funds. Whatever it is that you think you might need, I want to try to do that for people. Uh, I am already dedicating about 20 hours a week to this, just in writing scripts, keeping you guys updated, uploading everything as I do videos twice a week. Um, there And there isn't much to do now. Like, it's all new and everything's crazy, kind of keeping up with the prices, but there's really not a lot of gameplay that we can do. Once this game becomes more playable with resources and building, uh, I'll put an extra 10 hours a week into it. 10 hours of playing the game, 20 more hours of research, writing regular scripts, keep you all updated. The developers did say they will wipe most buildings in the game, but if you go to the FAQ, uh, FAQ, uh, on their website, number 64 tells us that the developers do want important locations on Earth to influence areas in Earth 2 games. So gold mines, farms, oil fields might give us advantages. They did also say that there will be likely a process users need to follow for validation. Say, oh, I'm really here. Similar to what a Pokestop would be. Oh, we're really here? Spin the thing. Uh, Guidebook Gaming also thinks these could act like Pokestops. Uh, if you own it, that means there'll be a lot of foot traffic to your area. Uh, again, all of this, we are pretty much the pioneers of it, and we're the first to do it. But again, once someone like Logan Paul or Mr. Beast or uh, Game Theory, whatever giant channel promotes this first, there's going to be so much coming in. Uh, again, like I'm, I'm tagging Elon Musk and Gary Vee on almost a daily basis on Twitter, and I haven't done <laughs> Mr. Beast yet, but I imagine a lot of you have been reaching out about it. Um, again, this hasn't really been on TikTok anywhere to where my friend Brendan, who's not really in this game, not in this world. He's like, no, I haven't noticed anyone but you mention it. So I do mention it a lot on Instagram and TikTok. Um, by the way, guys, that is it for me today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment down below on what you want me to cover. Again, I do not have that um, ability to be able to check this 24-7. So uh, that extra Patreon tier is there for you. Uh, from the hours of 11 to 6 Eastern Standard Time, I actually won't be able to uh, contact anyone via Facebook message, whatever it is, um, but in the other hours of the day, I will definitely be able to. Um, if there is something that you really need to uh, be talked about right away, again, that extra tier of Patreon is there outside of that. Um, just wait, and I will get back to you. I love you all. Class is busy.